It feels like a slingshot. It feels like if you hit it right, you hit the board right, and you have the perfect drive knee, it feels like someone had just taken a slingshot and let it go. The biggest mistake we make with our high school kids is they drop their hips, they load, they go straight up, come right back down. They wasted everything they did here. When you finally do it one time, it's an addictive feeling because you want to do it again. You're so focused and hyper-focused on board, 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 board awareness when that's not the end destination. This leg is going to come out. He's going to keep this toe dorsiflexed all the way until he reaches to the ground. When that happens, that causes over-rotation, which means the shoulders and chest come down. A lot of people get on that runway and they're so amped, they're so you know, ready to roll that they miss all of the technique that they had been practicing so much. They try too hard. When you're bringing a lot of speed and that foot is directly under you, you better have that knee up quick or you're gonna be eating sand in the sand pit. You're losing every bit of a foot or more off your jump. One of the things you always got to address is running mechanics, foot contact with the ground. And if it doesn't start there, then everything from then on is going to kind of be a disaster. A perfect jump technically has those three very important aspects. It has speed, it has drive knee, and it has correct posture. Without all three of those things in combination working together, you're going to have shorter distances.